You already know what time it is. It is declutter time. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. And hello if you're new here. My name is Michelle. I create beauty content each and every week for you. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below so you stay up to date with all my latest uploads. And currently we are in a declutter series. So each week I go through all my product. I'm kind of breaking it down by category. So I did foundation, lipstick, bronzers, and now we're on to our blushes and highlight. I decided to combine them this week just because I really don't have much when it comes to like individually. But let's just go ahead and jump into today's video. Actually, before we start this video, just going to make a quick mention right here. If you guys are interested in this eye look, I initially recorded it for YouTube and unfortunately I lost that footage. So unfortunately I won't be uploading this look to YouTube, but I was able to get the video up on TikTok because I recorded like my other eye for TikTok. So if you are interested for like a quick tutorial, go ahead and check out my TikTok. I'll have it linked down below. All it is is just michelle.beauty77. That's how you'll find me on all of my social media platforms. Just wanted to give that quick mention. So let's just get started with the blushes. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy. But this is both my highlighters and blushes. And this is just a mixture of everything. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and start with the palettes. Because that's usually how I like to go. Starting off strong, we have the Jaclyn Hill Highlighter Palette. This is in the shade The Flash. And this is like, I think one of the first things she launched when she launched her own brand. And it has this a beautiful big jumbo mirror in here that I don't want to blind you with. But these shades are so beautiful. And this is a newer purchase. I'm not even going to explain myself. This is definitely a keep. Not getting rid of this anytime soon. All right, so next up, this is actually a pretty old, like in my collection. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Glow Palette in Sun Dipped. I love this palette when it first came out, but I feel like these shades are starting to dry out. And I know I could like switch out the shades, like that's what like it was intended for, but some of them are dry, some of them are still pretty creamy. I love this palette and I haven't even hit pan on it, but it is pretty old. I don't know if I'm ready to give it up yet. It's going, it is going, it is time for this palette to go. I'm sorry, so sorry. I feel like I'm betraying it. All right, it's gotta go. I decided. It's old. This is another old palette and this is again a Jaclyn Hill but this was her first like collab with Becca Cosmetics and like she had like champagne pop going on. It was like a huge thing back in like two, I don't even know 2012, 2013, 14. I don't know but essentially essentially came with all these beautiful blushes on the top and then two jumbo highlighters. <sighs> Like, I love these. And honestly, this is still really good and very pigmented. I'm going to hold on to this. I'm not ready to give this up yet. I feel like I just betrayed Anastasia, but like these are still really good. So next up, we have the Cheek Leader Bronze Squad. So initially I just bought this because everyone was raving about the highlighter in here, which is the shade Cookie. It's right here in the middle. But then I was like, oh, the bronzers, like I've always wanted to try out. And I do enjoy the bronzers and the highlighter. I love the highlighter. But the blush, oh, I just like, honestly, if I could go back in time, I wouldn't buy this huge palette. I'm going to keep it because it's probably, I think it's like only a year old, maybe two year old. I don't know. It's not that old. It's not old to me. So I'm going to hold on to it. But I don't think it's worth it if you're like ever considering it. For me, the blushes just don't come up on my skin tone. It's just way too late. Like, there's not even like a wash of color. All right, I think this is my last palette and this is the most affordable palette I have. And this is the Catrice Edmund, Edmund? Really hope I'm saying her name right. Sorry if I'm not. But this was like, just like a collab she had. And this is a cheeky blush palette. And this is beautiful. Like all these shades look so good on my skin and they last so long. This I'm 100% keeping. I'm still using it every single day. Like I literally grab this every single day. She's not going anywhere. Next up I have a Rimmel Maxi blush and this is in the shade Sweet Cheeks. It just doesn't show up on my skin and it really doesn't do anything for me. So I think it's time I get rid of this one. Another throwback to when I did my Dollar Tree video. This is the LA Colors blush and this is in the shade Toast. I just don't grab this. <laughs> God, I think I used it like maybe three times. I just, it looked good for like Dollar Tree makeup, but I think it's time for, for this to like retire. 
This is a Milani baked blush in the shade Luminoso. And if you know, you know, this was popular. Now, obviously this is a sample size. I did used to have like the big jumbo size, but I used that one all up. But this sample size, I don't know, I feel like they changed the formula or something since the last time I used it. And it's just not as good. And I don't use this like at all. It does not show up on my skin. So I'm gonna be letting this one go. This right here, this is my, one of my go-tos. I have, I have a few go-tos and this is it. This is the Essence blush, it just says the blush, but this is in the color Bespoke. It is so beautiful. It's like that perfect, like kind of like toasty blush and it has like very light shimmer in here, but it looks so beautiful on the skin. I'm 100% keeping this. It's so affordable. I think it was only like two to three dollars. It's very, very affordable. The Butter Blush. I bought this because everyone was hyping the Butter Bronzer from Physician Formula and this is just their blush. I have to admit, I really wasn't impressed with this. This is in the shade Saucy Mauve. I just feel like it does not come up on my skin and honestly, like I've been using it, but like every single time I use it, I top it off with another blush. It just doesn't really do anything and doesn't last on my skin and it really doesn't show up on my skin. So I'm gonna be giving this one up. Okay, the next blush is hands down my favorite blush ever, like ever, okay? Like if you can find it in stores, buy it. This is the Burt's Bees blush and this is in the shade Toasted Cinnamon. So mine looks a little funky cause I dropped it and it shattered all over the place and I was so bummed out but I pressed it all together in here so it looks a little weird, but hey, it still works. And this shade is literally like exactly what it says, like a toasted cinnamony, kind of like a burnt orange, if you will. I don't know, it looks beautiful on my skin and a little goes a long way. This is so pigmented, so take it easy with this, but I wanna try more shades from Burt's Bees cause I've never tried anything else but this, but this is hands down my favorite. So this is the e.l.f. Putty Blush, so this is a cream blush and I love this shade. I feel like it looks so beautiful and their blush just blends beautifully. If you want your blush to last all day long, use this underneath your blush and it will like, your blush will stick to it, but you could honestly use this on its own. It's such a beautiful shade and it's so creamy. I'm 100% keeping this. Another cream blush is from Believe Beauty. I actually really enjoy the formula of this. However, the shade, this is the shade Doll Face. And as you can see, this is very pink and it's very pink on your skin. <sighs> I don't like the shade, but I love the formula. As you can tell, like by the shade range of my blushes, I like a more like toasty brown kind of mauve tone. And this is just so pink. This is literally like a baby doll pink and it's so bright. <sighs> so I don't want to give it up because it is pretty new. And I think this was like $5, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep using it. Like I said, the formula is so beautiful and it's nice and creamy and it gives your skin like a glow. So I'm gonna hold on to it. Maybe this will look nicer once I get more pale in the winter. I don't know. I'm gonna hold on to this. Kind of wish I picked up a different shade though. All right, so that's it for the blushes. Now we're going to move on to the highlighters and I really don't have much here. So bear with me. First up, we have the Pixie by Petra. One of my favorite highlighters. Beautiful, stunning. It literally gives you like that wet look, but it's not like glittery. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like a creamy formula. I'm keeping this. I love this. If you could find one of their highlighters in stores, definitely, definitely buy this. This is a bringing me back. So this is a Wet n Wild Mega Highlighter, and this is in the shade Precious Petals but you could tell I hit pan on this. I loved this highlighter so much. This looks so beautiful on the skin, but this is so old and it's kind of drying out. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one, but you should purchase it if you find it because these highlighters are really, really good. Next up, we have Anastasia Beverly Hill and this was their Amrezy collab. And this highlighter is so beautiful. But to be honest, the formula isn't as creamy. I feel like it's starting to dry out. And I feel like I definitely have like drugstore ones that are a little bit better than this one. I'm gonna keep it because I do enjoy it, but I don't think it was necessary. Now this highlighter is so affordable and has become one of my favorites. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. 
And this is in the shade Be My Highlight. This is beautiful for like those days where you just want like a subtle highlighter. Like you don't want to be glowing all over the place. Like, I don't know. You don't want to be like in your face with your highlighter. This is like a perfect subtle highlighter. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it's beautiful. And I think it was like $3. It's so affordable. I highly recommend this one. I am definitely keeping this. Another Dollar Tree item. And this is Ellie Colors Highlight. And this is actually very beautiful. I do enjoy this, but it is drying out. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this one. The thing with Dollar Tree is their makeup is really good, but it does dry out pretty fast, like within a couple months, not like days. It takes a couple months, but they do dry out. So like if you see my Dollar Tree video, I was raving about it. I mean, everything's for a dollar. So it's very, very affordable. But just keep that in mind. All right, you guys. So that about wraps up my declutter for my blushes and highlighters. I'm getting rid of quite a bit, a total of seven items. And this is what I'm keeping. I'm keeping like three or four palettes. And then I have my blushes over here and then my highlighters over here. So yeah, I feel like I'm getting rid of a lot. Well, a decent amount. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this declutter series. I know I am. I recommend that you go through your makeup. Try to do it like every like six months or so. Get rid of makeup. That means you could buy more makeup, you know? It's kind of a win-win situation. But if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe down below so you can stay up to date with all my latest uploads. And that so we can stay connected. But as always, before signing off, I want to leave you with this. You are beautiful, you are loved, and you are worthy. All right, guys. Bye.